my local Harbor Freight finally got these things in. This is the uh, the 14 and a half inch wide uh, seven drawer end cabinet that goes on the side of these well, most of their toolboxes and uh, I'm going to be putting it on my 44 inch toolbox. Of course that's at work so you guys won't be able to see that uh, but we will go over real quick how these things attach. Um, I've seen these things attached well there's somebody at work right now that has one attached to a snap-on toolbox. Granted it's not this one specifically it's the the previous one that was a little narrower. Um, we're gonna go ahead and unbox it. This is not exactly how it came. Um, it did come with a pallet. Uh, I believe it was attached to this side here and it was just banded to it so um, and it was sitting sideways and I was putting this in my truck so at the time of picking this up I said you know what I don't want that pallet we went ahead and cut it loose and uh, they disposed of it right there at Harbor Freight I just took the box itself so we'll go ahead and cut this open we'll see what's in here what we've got here is 14 and a half inch end cabinet it says it's 45 cubic or 4500 cubic inches of storage and 320 pounds of total weight capacity um, Let's see, we'll go ahead and read the rest of it. It says high capacity, full extension ball bearings, drawer slides, all welded, steel construction, industrial power, coated finish, uh, resist rust, uh, secure detents, keep the drawers closed, non-slip pre-cut drawer liners in all drawers and compartments, and barrel lock keeps your tools safe and secure. For the most part, it looks just like my toolbox. So, we'll go ahead and cut it open. See, they actually package these things well. I mean, they're individually created, so you don't really have to worry about it. This plastic off here. As you can see, here's our, our rubber mat. Of course, this one, unlike the, the full size one, doesn't say US General across the top of it. Um, I'll go ahead and it's got two sides to it. This is the rigid side, which I don't really care for. I like it to be flat, so I just flip it over. Um, that's the way I got it on my toolbox. And here's our drawers. As you can see, they're all locked right now. Go ahead and pull the key out real quick so we can open this thing up. I wonder, just for, just for the heck of it, let's see if my 44 inch one fits it. Pretty sure it doesn't, but might as well check it, right? No, nope, it doesn't. So I'm going to have to have two separate keys. Um, and it's just the way it goes. Nature of the beast. And this one, just like my, my other one, um, it's got three keys with it. So now we can open it up. And you can see that this kind of shifted around a little bit. This looks a little different than what's in my the 44 inch one. I don't know for sure. But it's check the stuff I've got at work is kind of kind of dirty, so I don't really remember. Um, I know it's it does open all the way out. I'll go ahead and measure this real quick. Oh, bring out the I don't have the calipers, they're at work, so um, we'll use Harbor Freight's wonderful 25 foot Pittsburgh tape measure. Um, but it's opening, it's opening out fully 20 inches, um, well 20 inches to the front of the drawer. The, uh, the box itself, it measures 22 inches by Actually, with these, with the hooks here on the top, which is what you use to mount on the toolbox, um, it's actually measuring all the way across at about 15 and a quarter. I'm sorry, 15 and eighth. So that's a little bigger than 14.5. If we just measure the box itself without those, it comes right out to 14.5. So 
we do have these these hooks that sit on top of the the, the edge of the toolbox. Um, go through here. It's well, it's the same height as the toolbox, so really don't have to worry about that. Of course, this one has no casters or anything else because it's supposed to be mounted to a toolbox, which would have its own casters. So you can see these have all kind of shifted, but they fully open up. <laughs> yeah, every single one of them looks like they've shifted, which is fine because this thing was sitting on its side. So you kind of expect that. Like it was sitting on its side inside my truck, so I will have to look at it though. I don't know for sure if this is different than my my toolbox as far as the liner goes. So I'll just let you guys know in the, in the comments uh, because I hope to have this video already posted. Now this drawer right here is deeper, and it's it's deeper than even the drawer is on my 44 inch on my 44 inch it has one deep drawer at the bottom and then one deep drawer at the very top um, the ones in between are not deep so um, this one this one is here's our instruction manual and our extra not sure exactly what these are little spacers here. Not to get back to you about that. Um, we do have our labels or our plastic pieces and papers to label the drawers. You can actually insert it right here uh, to label what's in each drawer. I'm not going to do it because I don't care to. Um, it has the two bolts that you would use and that's easy. You just take it and hang this thing on the side of your toolbox and then there are two bolts that uh, you just pull out one of the drawers pull up the, the bottom drawer um, and depending on which side you mounted this on you would just put the bolts through to your toolbox the toolbox has bolt holes on each side of it so depending on which side you feel like putting it on you can do that so it's really simple you say you just hang it on there two bolts bolted on it's not going anywhere because um, this this hanger actually goes the full length up here, so it's hanging on the full side of your toolbox, so you shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. Um, these drawers right here are at the very front. It's almost six inches. It's about five and and uh, what was that? Five and a quarter. No. It's actually five and seven eighths deep from the top of this. So that's pretty deep. Let's see if this other one is the same. Yeah, it's about the same. Uh, and, and we may get a little bit of that back too. I've got this tape measure resting directly on this, this drawer liner, so we may get a little bit of that back. But all the drawers, the detent is a little tough. Um, it, it, it changes once you actually have weight in there. Because um, then the weight of the tools help pull it in. Uh, but it's a little tough, but that'll probably work out some later. And uh, once you get that, once you get the tools in there, it will probably make it a lot easier to go in. Um, that is one of the things, though, that I have noticed on my 44 inches that the, the drawers sometimes, you just saw that one, it was kind of in the out position a little bit. Whenever you go to lock it, you have to go through and make sure that all the doors are pushed in all the way. That way you make sure it locks. Is it a pain? Yeah, maybe. It probably takes me a full three or four seconds to do it. So who really cares? Um, if it's at work, you're probably getting paid for that three or four seconds anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but at least you make sure your tools are secure. Um, this thing right here, it says on the side of it, it said that it was approximately let's see oh, it says it's 50 to 90 pounds um, it is pretty heavy I'm gonna tell you that it is it is pretty heavy it's uh, I was able to lift it myself 
I may be a little stronger than others, I may be, you know, who knows, maybe a little stupid for lifting something that heavy. It does say two-man lift, though, which if you got two people, use two people to do it, because that's the smart way to do it. If these things got a problem, you're going to have the problem right in the very beginning. It's not likely that it's going to just wear out, or you're, you're going to know real quick, because it was probably just that it was made improperly. And that can happen with anything. As far as the way these things are made, if everything's put together the way it should be, I, I, these things are great. So um, I'll let you guys know here in the very near future what, what this one is like. Um, after I've used it for a little while, we can see, see where things go. So if you got any questions, send them in the comments. I, uh, I try to answer the comments. Since my YouTube channel is not very big, I can still respond to a lot of comments. Um, just don't leave any s stupid comments. And by that, you, you know what I mean. Um, there's no need for that. We're all adults here. We're all here to help each other. So, um, But I will help you if you got any questions. And uh, hopefully we can, uh, we can make this YouTube thing a little bit better by being a big community. People that are willing to help each other out. So let me know what you think. And uh, please like, subscribe, and I will hope to have more things out here in the very near future. So y'all take care.